Hi everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Landing. You guys are probably wondering why I'm out here at night with this Phantom 4 Pro in my hand. Oh, what this guy's gonna do with this bird tonight? Well, I had a couple questions and some people wanna know if it'll land on water at night or if it'll hit obstacles at night. One thing I did find out with this bird is that the obstacle sensors on the front don't pick up as well as these infrareds at night. As a matter of fact, the infrareds work a lot better at night from what I just found out. So what I'm guys going to show you guys tonight is if it will land on water at night or if it'll hit these poles here or any other obstacles here at nighttime. So stick around and see what we got. All right, as you guys can see on here, the ambient light is too weak. So let's go ahead and put her in the air and see what she looks like. All right, I'm going to go ahead and face it towards this bar, and we're going to see if it'll stop. It is not picking up the bar, so I'm going to turn it to the side and see if it picks up the bar. Move it up forward a little bit. Yes, it's picking up the bar. So at night, the infrared works well on the bar. So let's turn it around. And it looks like uh, it's picking up the bar on the other side as well. But when you're facing the bar, depending on the lighting, Right now, about maybe a foot away, it's not picking it up. Now we're gonna test to see if it goes into the side of this uh, overhang here in low light situations. Look like it's not picking it up. So I'm gonna turn it to the side. As you can see, the little infrared flashing. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try taking it to the left. It's not letting me. That's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and try it one more time. Let me bring it to the left. Looks like the infrared's picking it up. It won't let me in. But if I face it, you would think even with a little bit of light, it should pick it up. But it's not picking it up. So you gotta be really careful at night because it doesn't work all the time. So you need to be careful with that. Could try to land the Phantom 4 Pro on water. Let's see what happens. Yup, it looks like it will land on water even at nighttime. So let's try it again. Wouldn't be a full test if I didn't try it, so let's try it again. It looks like it will land on water, so at nighttime, forget about it. It's gonna land on water. We're going to go ahead and try to find this tree going forward. It's not picking up, so I'm going to bring it back. Let's do it with the infrareds. Look like the infrareds work real well at night, so let's try the infrareds. Oh, the infrareds picking up. So actually, that's, that's pretty good as far as night on the sides, but it looks like the front look like uh, it relies off of light. So if you're going to try to fly at night, that's going to be pretty difficult. Okay, that concludes our test for the night obstacle avoidance test. It looks like the sensors on the front here, not that great at night. These on the side are fantastic at night. Must have something to do with the technology that goes with it. Now, as far as the bottom facing sensors going down into the water, same thing, not so hot at night. So obviously these sensors in the front at the bottom and the back, they work off of light. Not everybody's going to be flying their bird at night. I don't even think a quarter of you guys going to fly your bird at night. But there are some people that like to take some nice night shots. For those guys out there, just be careful. It's not even close to 100% like it is in the daytime. I mean, even in the daytime, it's not 100%. But I'll say it's more like 25% at nighttime because you only just got the size. As you can see with the trees, you can see with the water, you can see with you know little metal objects else in the way. All those obstacles at night. You just need to be real careful and just use your own instincts when you're flying. I hope you guys really appreciate what I showed you tonight. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you and have a good night.